Right, let's get back to OSU football and today you're going to hear a lot of talk about the team's growth, but that can also be said about the actual campus in Corvallis. It's basically another way of saying there's a lot of big construction projects going on as fall term approaches next month. So with that, let's go back out to Kathy to find out what's new on campus and Kathy, you're talking to the guy who would definitely know it's OSU president Ed Ray. Yeah, Ed Ray in his 17th year here, Maggie, he insists I call him Ed. I feel disrespectful <laughs> not saying President Ray, but I'm going with Ed because he's such a regular guy. He joins the tailgaters out here before game day on, you know, Research Stadium parking lot right here. We're dealing with the heat. What are you most excited, Ed, about this upcoming year? Well, every year is different, but every year is exciting. We've got 4,500 new students who will be joining us uh, for fall quarter. Uh, we've had success. Our uh, six-year graduation rate went from 65.3% uh, uh, to 67%. 25% of our students are students of color. And I think your uh, viewers would be interested in knowing that uh, of our true freshmen who came in in 2015, 46.5% graduated with no debt. Oh, that's and fantastic. The national average is 34 uh, percent. We've got really uh, impressive. I do want to talk to you about all the construction going on oh, on campus yeah, because that has really been sort of indicative of your era here, all the new buildings. So <laughs> what's on tap right now? Well, first of all, let me give you the big picture because I've had someone check into this since I came here. We've had 96 major construction projects and we've added uh, 2.6 billion gross square feet to the uh, campus. Wow. So the, it has changed a lot. But we've got exciting things going on this year. We're going to uh, open the new uh, PV uh, hall uh, probably in the spring. That'll be part, along with the advanced uh, wood products lab, that'll be part of the forest, forest science uh, center. We've got the Marine Science Building over in Newport. We're very excited about that. It'll have a vertical evacuation site, so it'll be a safer place for everyone to be. We're going to uh, start construction. We already broke ground, but we'll start construction for the second uh, academic building in Bend. We're going into session. They didn't approve capital projects uh, last year, so we're going to be looking for funding for our Arts and Education Center, uh, for Phase two of uh, Cordley Hall for a new student success center. And this is a man who's state. wrapping up his yeah, career here. He'll yeah. retire <laughs> in June, and he has all these plans still going, still going. But let's talk football, because I know oh, you're yeah. a huge sports fan. And what are you looking for the team to do this year? Well, I think everybody's kind of hoping we can sort of double, double, double. We went from one win to two wins. We're hoping we can go from two to four. We'll see. You know, we'd like to do better. But uh, I just hope our guys go out there, I know they will, and play their hearts out. Uh, and we'll see where it takes us. I guess if I had one thought to share with your audience, it would be that Jonathan Smith is everything as wonderful as he seems to be. And I told him during the summer that obviously I root for the Beavers, but I actually root for him personally. <laughs> and I hope he has a wonderful life. He's just a terrific yeah. young well, man. Well, he has such a great storied history Absolutely. here. I covered him as a player, and I feel very much the same. All right, I got to ask this group back there. Hey, tailgaters, can you give us a go, Beavs? I don't think so. So I'm going to have to have you have a go, Beavs. All right, everybody on three, go Beavs! Go Beavs! One, two, three, go Beavs! All right, all right, much more impressive. They answer to you very well, Ed.